Hi guys! Today we are going to be making a groove and guitar together. So you can actually make this instrument a few different ways, so let's go over the different ways you can make it now. So first you can either take a shoebox, if you happen to have an old shoebox lying around that you don't mind cutting a hole in. If you do not have a shoebox, you can use a tissue box. Just make sure that is a long tissue box, not a smaller square tissue box. Okay, you want it to be a little longer, all right? Then you need six rubber bands, all right? Um, they can be different sizes. They can go from thicker to thinner, all right? That would actually be perfect. However, if you do not, if they're all the same size, that is all right. As long as they can fit around the shoe box or the tissue box the long way. All right, so six of those. Two straws or chopsticks or pencils. So something about this shape, all right, that can hold up the rubber bands. All right, so straws or chopsticks or pencils or something else in this shape that you have at home, all right? Then, if you have um, an empty paper towel roll, you can use that, okay? If you do not, this part is not necessary, um, but it is a little fun piece if you have one lying at home. And something else that you don't need, but you can use if you'd like, is a little bread tab. So if you've ever seen these at the end of a bread bag, okay, a little bread tab. All right, so again, shoe box or tissue box, two straws or chopsticks or pencils, six rubber bands, and a paper towel roll. All right, let's get started. So if you're using a shoe box, you're going to want to either cut a hole in it Okay, or you can open it and use the open side, but the best way to use the shoe box is to cut that hole in it. Okay, make sure you get a parent's help with this one. All right, if you do not have a shoe box or cannot cut a hole in it, you can also use a tissue box. Just make sure again that it's a long tissue box such as this. All right, if you're using the tissue box, you're going to use the side um, that opens. All right, this clear side. All right, so if you have that shoe box, cut that hole right in the middle, just about this size, okay? You can see I actually took an extra step and I decorated a little cover to go on top of it, okay? Which you are more than welcome to do as well. I just decorated a piece of paper, cut the hole, and then taped it on top, all right? Then I'm going to take my rubber bands and I'm going to put them around my shoe box or tissue box the long way. All right, so I'm going to wrap it around so that it goes from front to back, okay? So I'm going to go one at a time with each rubber band on my guitar. All right, so now I have all six rubber bands on the front of my guitar. Next, I'm going to take my two straws or chopsticks or pencils, and I'm actually going to put them under the rubber bands. So I'm going to lift up the rubber bands on the top of the box, and I'm going to slide my straw underneath so that it sits just like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Lift up my rubber bands, put my straw underneath, and there you are. This is just to keep the rubber bands from touching the front of the box, all right? Because you want them to vibrate. So you have those two straws or pencils or chopsticks on the front of your guitar. Last but not least, you can take your paper towel roll. You can either cut a hole in the top of the box or you can tape the paper towel roll to the top of the box. If you cut a hole, you're just going to stick the paper towel roll right in there. You can also tape it for support if you'd like. And if not, you can just tape the paper towel roll right to the top, all right? Your bread tab is actually your pick. So you can hold your guitar like this, and you're going to use your pick to strum the strings, okay? So enjoy your guitar. I really hope you enjoy making it. I can't wait to see all of your creations. Um, and enjoy. Bye.